If you're an iPhone user, you already know that you can use a single number on the smartphone with a single SIM card slot. But what if I tell you that iPhones actually allow users to use two numbers simultaneously without having the second SIM card? The same technology is possible on select Android smartphones to what is called an eSIM. In this video, we will be talking about what an eSIM is, how to activate it, which smartphone support it, and everything you need to know about it. So without any delay, this is Abhik, let's get started. So if you're wondering, it is not an electronic SIM, it is basically an embedded SIM. Why embedded? Because it is embedded or soldered into the motherboard of your smartphone through which you can activate a cellular plan via software program. Samjhe? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so basically this eSIM or this digital SIM simply replaces your physical SIM card so that users can enjoy a secondary number on their smartphone without having the second SIM card inserted into the phone itself. In India, only three carriers provide this eSIM service. There's Airtel, Geo, and Vodafone Idea, which is currently called Y. Now to activate this eSIM, the process is different for each carrier and that's what we're going to do in this video. I will be breaking down step by step for each carrier and then we'll see how to activate the SIM card. So before we go forward, first you need to remember that not all smartphones support eSIM. Most iPhones and Android smartphones do support it, but then in Android only the flagship Android smartphones support this technology. If you are wondering which smartphones support this, here's all the list that you can find. Whoosh. So now you know which smartphones support eSIM, let's talk about how to activate this eSIM plan on your device. So first you need to ensure that your email ID is registered with the carrier. You can check this by going to the carrier's respective app. If you see that your email ID is not registered, you might have to go to the store locally or you can even try using the app to update your email ID. Now for Airtel, what you need to do is you need to send an SMS right in the SMS box eSIM followed by your email ID to 121. For Vodafone Idea, you need to again write your email ID. So do send eSIM followed by your email ID to 199. For Geo, it's a little longer process, but again, it will work. So what you have to do is write get eSIM followed by your 32 digit EID number and then your IMEI number to 199. If you don't know how to find your EMI number or IE number, just simply go to your phone settings, go to about section, you'll find all these details or you can simply Google. Once you send a message to your respective carrier, you'll find a series of messages follow the instructions. After that, the process differs from smartphone to smartphone. Once you're done sending the SMS, you will receive a QR code on your email. You need to scan this QR code on your smartphone. The process to scan this QR code differs from smartphone to smartphone. So let's take a look. So for Samsung smartphones, go to settings, then connections, SIM card manager, add mobile plan, and scan the QR code. For iPhone, it is simple. Just go to mobile data and add a data plan. For Pixel smartphones, go to settings, network and internet, click on mobile network, download eSIM and scan the QR code. So the good part about eSIM is that it doesn't cost you anything separately if you already have your number registered with the carrier. The downside is that you have to register this whole process again and again if you are switching from one smartphone to the other because physical SIM card at least allows you to take out the SIM from the old device and insert it into the new one. Anyway, let us know in the comments what you think about this eSIM technology. Hit that like button if you like this video, share it with someone who's probably using two numbers at the same time. Subscribe to Fiber and Fiber Hindi for more content. This is Abhik signing off.